Hi everyone, how's it going? I'm like trying to do a car mukbang here and this damn steering wheel, this is as low as it goes. I'm gonna see if I can prop up my camera on something. What to do, what to do? Anyways, I'm gonna explain to you why I'm doing a car mukbang. And you know what makes it more uncomfortable? There's this damn person in front of me like shows up right now. Okay, I think that's good enough. My kid's gonna be in the background. I'm not wearing any makeup. I look like crap, but figured I have to do it now or I'll never end up doing it. You know what I mean? So today I'm gonna be eating a Southwest chicken salad. Anyways, and I'm uncomfortable because I came to my daughter's school to pick her up, but I was like running around doing some chores, some, some chores, <laughs> some errands, and I didn't want to go home and then have to come right back, you know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go get me some lunch. I got this creamy Southwest dressing. I've never tried this before. So I, I normally always get the Southwest chicken salads from McDonald's, and then somebody told me to try the one from... What's it called again? Oh, Jack in the Box. And I saw that they had like these chicken teriyaki balls and I was like, oh my God, I want to try it. But I didn't see it. Like I ordered the salad and then when I drove by, I'm like, what? They had like steak, steak um, teriyaki balls and chicken teriyaki. Woo, that's strong. That dressing is strong. And then I have this other nerd over here. God, I'm so mean. But he's just staring at me. Like, jeez. So I came to pick up my daughter. It's an hour before the kids come out. Why are these parents here already? And that's what I want to know. Like, I mean, shit. I was doing errands. Like, were they doing errands too? But yeah, he's just staring at me. He's freaking annoying the hell out of me. Like, I'm about to go tell him what the hell he's staring at. There. Anyways. So I just wanted to come on here and do like a little update. How I've been doing and all that stuff. <clears throat> I haven't filmed mukbangs since, I don't know, like over a month ago. Just because I don't feel like filming mukbangs anymore. Or I haven't felt like doing them lately, you know what I mean? Like I focus more on my other channel. I gotta make this kid pee because he's gonna drive me crazy back here. I just had him pee in a water bottle. <laughs> Watch me get confused and take a drink out of it. But anyway, so yeah, I haven't like filmed lately. I haven't thought of anything good that I want to film. And when I do have something good that I could film, I'm already tired and I just want to eat. But... This salad's okay. This salad's okay. I think I still like the McDonald's one better because it has corn in it. But I've always wanted to try it, so I'm guessing I'm gonna gotta try it. Anywho. I think the dressing is too salty. To tell you the truth. <gasps> But yeah, we've been good. Oh my god, my stomach keeps making weird noises. Um, I'm doing really good. I'm going to give you guys a little update on the weight loss. I know some people don't really care and they get annoyed, but sorry, this is my channel. You know I'm going to talk about whatever the hell I want. So if you don't like it, you can go watch something else. You know what I mean? Sorry, I'm not trying to sound all rude, but... You know, some comments are rude towards me, so why should I be nice to those rude comments? You know what I mean? Like, no. You treat me a certain way, and I'm going to treat you the, the same way. So, if you don't want to hear about my weight loss, bye-bye. Mmm. They're a little bit sweet, so it gives it a really good taste to the salad. How would that? So, my status, 
what do you call it stats or whatever are my highest weight was 399 that i know of because i after 399 i didn't want to weigh myself i'm pretty sure i got to 400 and something that was my highest weight and right now i weigh 261 so that's like 140 pounds lost from my highest weight I would do a body shot and all that, but I ain't never got time for that. There's people all over the place looking at me and shit. But yeah, I went from a size 4X, 5X shirt. Right now I fit a 2X in pants. I went from a size 28 in pants down to 22. And they still feel, you know, they feel a little loose. Like I can go smaller, but I don't want to yet. And then, you know, if you guys are new or you don't know that I have a vlog channel, I do have a vlog channel in Spanish. Mm. I always link it down, be down below and it's called Yuri Sanchez Vlogs and it's all Spanish. Mm. I also have an English channel that I also link down below. It's called mm. It's Yuri Again. I rarely upload there, so. But my Spanish one, I usually upload every day, so. And then I do like body shots there. I do like in my Spanish vlog channel. I will be doing body shots like in the other channel, the English one, but I just never upload, so. I also have an Instagram where I do side by sides. It's called Yuri Got Sleeved. I also leave it in the description box if you want to follow me there. But yeah, you know, I'm still I still like to watch a lot of people's mukbang videos. Um I don't think I have a favorite right now. I just watch a lot of people. And um, I ran into this one channel. It's this girl that eats seafood. I'm not going to say her name because I'm not trying to start anything, you know, or anything like that. But it's just when I watch her, I've watched like two of her videos. And this girl is like super skinny. You can see her bones and stuff. And she wears like a mask so you can't see her eyes. And... This girl can eat so much and I'm kind of jealous because I can't eat much anymore. But, you know, and she eats like a lot of food. And I honestly, I don't understand how people that thin can eat so much. Even a big person, I cannot see them eating that much, that, that amount of food, you know. It's so much and I'm like, how does it fit in your stomach? Like, how? There's no way. So I always wonder, like, did they pause the video and then, like, hours later after they went to the bathroom and stuff like that and came back and finished it? But I don't know. Like, I don't know if they do that. And then this girl eats so fast. Like, she's like, like, it almost seems like she hasn't eaten, like, in a week. And she's starving and she's eating. And I notice all her videos are kind of short and the nerd is still looking at me. Like, every time I look over there, he's staring right at me. The reason why I call him a nerd is because he looks like the brother from Neapolitan. No, Napo Napoleon Dynamite. You know, the brother that's like, well, just this is really, really interesting. You know that guy with the glasses? That's exactly what he looks like. And he's wearing the glasses and that same hairdo. And he's staring right at me. But, uh, yeah, so I don't understand, you know. Like... I don't know. I watch her. I watched a few and they started kind of getting on my nerves the way how fast she was eating that I was like, I felt like saying, stop, like slow down, like breathe. You know, the food's not going nowhere. So it's like, I don't understand, you know, I don't, I don't know. I only watched a few and then I didn't watch any more of those videos. But, um, Mom. hmm. <laughs> You're such a weirdo. <laughs> But yeah, who else do I watch? I mean, sometimes I just, I wonder, like, do they have a de-eating disorder? Like, do they make themselves throw up? Because I've heard that if, you know, like, people that suffer from bulimia, I mean, I'm not saying she does, but it just, that doubt always enters my mind. Like, do they have an eating disorder? Because I've heard that if you want to make yourself like throw up after you eat you have to eat within like 10 minutes to make yourself throw up all your food i don't know and i mean this person's videos are like always really short she eats super fast and i'm always wondering like is she gonna make herself throw up like 
I don't know. And please don't come on here being like, don't judge. You don't know. I'm, I'm not saying that that's what this person does. I'm just wondering, like, you know, how, how is it possible? Like, do they have an eating disorder or why do they eat so fast? You know, like, I mean, I eat fast too, but there's a difference. And this person is like, you can see, like, she's like desperate, like in desperation. Like, oh my God, I need eight. You know, I don't know. They can do whatever they want. But, yeah, see, let's, who else do I watch? Who the hell else do I watch? Um. I can't think of any because I watch a lot of people, but. Did you finish your chicken nuggets? But, yeah. Yeah. So. Not too long ago, I have a little story time for you guys. Not too long ago, I went to the doctors with my dad because he went to go get his heart checked and stuff. And on my way back home, I came home to my sister-in-law's house to pick up my kids because she was taking care of them. As I was pulling out, my car broke down. My Tahoe. This car, we just bought this car. It's like a really old 1999 car. You know, we just wanted an extra car. Because when my Tahoe broke down, I'm like, what am I going to drive? And my husband was like, we need to get another car in case something like this happens. So we got this car. It's a Toyota Camry. It's really old. But man, I love driving it. It's so smooth. But yeah, my car broke down. Turned out it was... I don't even remember what it was. Yeah, I don't remember what it was. But it was an easy fix. You know, they fixed it. But the day it broke down, I had to leave it overnight. Because the next day the mechanic, our friend, was going to come and fix it. So then, like the next day, like in the afternoon, I get a call from my sister-in-law. And she's like, hey, you have two flat tires. And I'm like, what? And she goes, yeah. And my Tahoe always has, always has flat tires. Like, their front, back, doesn't matter. Like, I keep getting flat tires. I keep getting, like, nails stuck in there or, like, whatever the hell. And I just bought these tires in March, okay? I'm still paying them off. So I'm like, what? So I'm like, oh, maybe it has something to do with the rims? or Because the rims were... No, it had nothing to do with the rims. Anyways, I don't know. So then I was like, okay, well, when my husband gets home, we'll go check it out to see what's going on. So then, like, an hour later, she calls me and she's like, hey... She's like, I just found out somebody popped your tires. And I'm like, what? And I'm like, how do you know? And she's like, there's this girl that's always driving around here. And she's always stalking, like, her neighbor, my sister-in-law's neighbor. Oh, my God. This car had to park right next to me. But, yeah, she's always stalking, like, my sister-in-law's neighbor. And she's like, the lady in front said that she saw that girl come in parked in front of your car got off popped your tires and left and i'm like oh. so then i'm like what you know when i found out that somebody purposely popped my tires i was so mad the hell is on my lip i was so mad that i was like what and i went i put on my shoes i'm like it's about to go down you know and she's like this girl always drives by so i'm pretty sure she'll come back again she's like she will drive by every day spy on the guy next door she'll even get off look inside his windows make sure that nobody like he has no girls in there like she was a stalker like a jealous stalker i was like oh hell no i'm like i'm gonna go so then my i told my husband i'm going over there i'm gonna beat some ass like i was so mad i was ready to kick some ass don't mess with you you stuff uh -uh. but yeah i'm like oh i was so mad so then i go over there grab my chair did you just hit yourself in the head? <laughs> you know, put my chair on the street, like, because they live in, like, in a in a manufactured home community, like Will we do. We need some water? No. Ew. So I was like, I'm going to sit right there, and I'm going to wait for this video. Ew. Ew. And I was telling my sister-in-law, my sister knows exactly who she is, my sister-in-law. So I'm like, okay, we're going to wait for her. When she comes by, I'm going to jump on her car and make it stop. You know, I'm probably going to get killed or something, but I was that mad where I was going to go beat somebody. She didn't show up. Called the cops, you know. I took pictures of everything. 
And then my niece is like, oh my god, Yuri, come here. And I went and I looked. And she, this biatch carved, like, the initials BM on the back of my car. So I was like, oh, hell no. Bad enough, Emily tried writing her name on my car with a rock. And it says Emily on the side of my Tahoe. <laughs> And I'm like, now nah, this girl's trying to like key my car or whatever the hell she did to it. So then I talked to the neighbor in front and I asked her what happened. And she's like, well, I just heard somebody, you know, park in front of your car. And I see this girl get out and she's like, I didn't think much of it. I just heard a pop. And then she looked and she went to the other side and heard another pop. So she popped both of my tires. I'm guessing with a knife. And then she carved BM on the back. So I kept trying to figure out what is that what does that stand for? Like bowel movement or beaner Mexican or or butt munch or like you know what does it mean? So you know I was like I talked to the cop and he was like they they sent me like they transferred me to the sheriff and he's like well I'm getting off my shift you know it was like 6 p.m. He's like but I can I can like call you tomorrow. So I was like, seriously, there's no other damn sheriffs or police officers that can come investigate this crap. Like, I don't give a damn if you're getting off and then freaking put me somebody else, you know? But, um, yeah, so then like the next day, I was so mad. You guys, I was so mad. I went looking for her because we went to the neighbor's house and we asked him, what the hell's up with this freaking psycho bitch that just popped my tires? You know her. So then he told us her name, he told us where he, she lived. So there me and my sister-in-law go looking for her. I'm like, I'm seriously, I was so mad. I was 100% sure I was gonna end up in jail that day. Cause I was gonna go beat some ass. Cause I don't know who this girl is. Turns out this girl was such a psycho. And when my car broke down, I had to park it in front of this guy's trailer. So she assumed that uh, he was seeing someone and my car was, you know, belonged to the girl this guy was supposedly like hooking up with or whatever. Even though I have nothing to do with this guy, I don't know who he is. Never seen him in my life until the day that we went to talk to him. And yeah, yeah she popped my, my tires. Huh? She popped my tires out of jealousy, out of craziness. She was a crazy biatch. And, you know, she drove by, saw my Tahoe, and was like, ooh, that's an unfamiliar car. I bet you he has a girl in there. So she got mad, got off, popped my tires, oh, and God. left. Okay, mijo. So then... I told the cop all of this, you know, the next day when he called. And I'm like, I'm still paying off my tires, you know. Then this bitch freaking popped them. And oh my God, like I'm I'm going to be left with paying all this crap when I have nothing to do with her or that guy. I don't know who she is. I mean, she looked familiar and I, you know, I found out that I, did, I went to school with her. But we never knew each other. Like she was somebody I would see from afar and like, you know, she's like... I want to say Filipino or Samoan or something and I have pictures of her like oh she came back so by like the third day she came back drove by little did she know thank you that my sister-in-law had just gotten home she was in the driveway and she sees her and this girl drives in Looks over at the guy's trailer and when she stalks and then she drives right out. She leaves. There's something white on my camera because it looks like it's on my lip, but it's not. It's on the camera. So she's so dumb. She she's so crazy and dumb. She drove by again. And surprise. My my sister-in-law recorded her. I have those videos. She recorded her. She took pictures of her. She got her license plate number. So right away I called the cop. By this time my anger went down. My anger turned into being emotional. I was crying because I was so mad that somebody hurt my property. Like, I'm like, that's mine. And how does some crazy psycho come and, you know, damage my stuff when I don't even know who the hell she is? So, you know, I was like, I was just bad. I was like pissed. I was mad. I was sad. So I call a cop and I'm like, well, you know, we found her. You know, we have her plate number. We have her car. And he's like, Please don't go looking for her. He's like, please don't. Like, he knew how mad I was. He's like, please don't go looking for her. He's like, just don't. Just leave it, like, to me. And, you know, leave it up to me. Mom, Oh, too bad. You want to drink pee water? Sit down, please. So then the cop asked me, how much were your tires? How much is the new paint job? And I told him, you know, how much it was to fix my tires. Because I took him to Les Schwab. 
and the guy showed me look come here he's like somebody definitely slashed your tires and then he like put air in the tire and you can see the cut was this big on both both tires and she did it on the sidewall which was even worse you know I don't know what that means but I googled it and it's worse <laughs> holy crap I have the hiccups so yeah she messed up my car now my car is all sad and alone. Good thing we still had the old tires, you know, so we put on the old tires in the back. I haven't driven, like, I don't really drive that car anymore until I get those tires fixed. But. And there goes the camera. But yeah, that's what happened. Till this day, this was like a month ago, maybe. I haven't heard anything from the cop i know she was arrested he called me she's like okay we got her in jail oh because i text him the pictures and the video and when he saw him he's like oh i know who exactly who she is we've had trouble with her before you know he's like do you want me to put her in jail and i'm like uh yeah and he's like good he's like because i want to put her in jail too so i'm like yes please put her in jail so then he's like asking all my info right you know uh you know how much were your tires and all this crap that's when he asked me all that and then i i told him and he like wrote everything down and i haven't heard anything from from him since you know and i don't know what happens i've never been in this situation like will she pay for my tires like i don't know you know what happens to people that like mess up your stuff you know what i mean yeah definitely the one at mcdonald's is way better but i'm done get me home I'm done and I still take another bite. And that's how you stretch your stomach out. But um, yeah, that's what happened. And I was like, just wait till I see you on the street, bitch. And I'm just kidding. I don't know what I would do if I were sitting on the street. I'm pretty sure I would confront her and be like, you bitch. But then again, I don't want to because if she really is that crazy, what if she starts stalking me, like damaging more of my stuff out of anger, you know what I mean? But, yeah, so I haven't heard anything from the cop. I don't know what's going to happen. All I know is that it's going to be pop my tires. And I'll be good. What? But, yeah, that's going to be it for now. I mean, just wanted you to come on here, do a little story time, eat a little salad, do a little car mukbang because I've never done these before. Well, actually, I have, huh? What's this? I don't my Taco Bell one. But, yeah, I hope you guys are doing good. I don't know when I'll upload again. I don't like saying no more because I'll be like, I'll upload more often and I never do. But yeah, so I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are still, you know, watching me here. To my true subscribers, Mom. I know you guys are watching this. And if you're not, you're not my true subscriber. Mom, this door? No, just leave it, Mel. But anyways, I'll see you guys in my next one. I need to go pick up my Zada. Bye. Say bye. Bye.